requires an anointing that will break every chain. It will break that family curse. Daddy was a gambler. You were a gambler. Daddy was a liar. You were a liar. Daddy was an addict. You're an addict and you're passing it on. That, ch- that curse needs to break right now. You ought to tell the devil, I will not pass on bitterness. I will not pass on hatefulness. I will not pass on this loose living. I'm going to return to God. God bless you, dear friends. This is Pastor Anthony Wynn. What a glorious honor to share with you this gospel that Jesus still has everything under control. I pastor here in Athens, Tennessee. I have precious prayer warriors standing by right now to pray with you whatever your need is. You call now. There's a miracle in the making for you. This might be one of the most important broadcasts that we've done in years, and God has been mighty kind to Anthony Wynn Ministries. We're at the 17th day of Israel at war. This, this God's little people, God's chosen people, please pray for the people of Israel. Please pray for the hostages. Please pray for the people in Gaza Strip that they'll find food and water, that God will be merciful to them, that, that uh, precious lives won't be lost. Please pray that God will somehow miraculously fight for Israel like He always has. I want to talk to you today about Israel at war. You need to call somebody tell them they need to watch this broadcast. I want to show you how this war is affecting the United States of America and every church and every Christian. At Revelations 12, 4, And his tail drew the third part of the stars of heaven and did cast them to the earth. The dragon stood before the woman which was ready to be delivered for devour her child as soon as it was born. And we know that dragon is the enemy. We know he's Satan. He's Lucifer. And we know that woman represents the church, represents Israel. We know that child represents Christ and then us, the seed that comes after him. In Luke 19 and 13, And he called his ten to servants and delivered them ten pounds and said to them, Occupy till I come. Occupy means to conduct business. Occupy means to, to use what you've got. It don't mean just to hucker down and hide and say, well, Jesus is going to return. We're not. No, it means to keep winning souls, keep laying hands on the sick, keep praying, keep fasting, keep standing in the gap and making up the hedge. The spiritual always runs right beside of the natural. They run side by side parallel. The first flood washed men out of the world. The second flood Hallelujah, the second flood, hallelujah, washed the world out of man. The fire will purge the earth and make it clean. This is what the Holy Ghost done to a man. When there's a new birth, first the water breaks, then the blood, then the spirit. To purge this earth back, it's a type and a shadow. First the flood came, then the blood was spilled at Calvary, and now he's going to burn it off with purge and there'll be a new heaven and a new earth. Earth will be restored back. Hallelujah. All the tabernacle was a picture of Jesus. He's our blood sacrifice. He is our mercy seat. You ought to call now and let us pray with you. I have up into the night praying over this broadcast. Needs are going to be met today. People are going to be healed today. Doctors reports are going to turn around. God can turn around your finances. Right in the middle of this chaos and right in the middle of all this fear and this turmoil. God's going to move for you. He's going to raise a standard up for you. I want to talk to you about the two seeds it's running parallel there's a natural Israel there's a spiritual Israel Genesis 22 17 that in blessing I will bless thee and in multiplying I will multiply thy seed as the stars of heaven and the sand which is up on the seashore and thy seed shall possess the gates of the enemy the stars of heaven it's the church it's you and I around the world We're, 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 we're the spiritual seed of Abraham we're the spiritual Israel we're God's seed we're God's elect we're God's church we're God's children Children. Hallelujah. We're the stars of heaven. We're, we're, we're caught up into the presence of God. The, the natural Israel over in Israel, those, that natural seed is the sands of the sea. They are touching earth. There's two seeds. There's the sand of the sea. There's the stars of heaven. Hallelujah. The sand touches the earth. It's a natural Israel. The stars hang in touch in heaven. It's the church or the spiritual Israel. In Genesis 32, 12, And thou saith, I will surely do thee good and make thy seed as the sands of the sea, which which cannot be numbered for multitude. This is natural Israel. This, this is that, that seed that's under attack right now by Hamas. This is that seed that the enemy's trying to devour. In Genesis 32, 12, And thou saith, I will surely do thee good, and make thy seed as the sands of the sea, which cannot be numbered for multitude. Genesis 15 and 5, And he brought him forth abroad and said, Look toward heaven and tell the stars if thou be able to number them. And he said unto me, So shall thy seed be. Church, we're not going under. We're not going to disappear. Tongues are not going away. The Holy Ghost is not going to fail us. They're going to be a, a triumph conquering church. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus said, 
said, nevertheless, when I return, I will find faith in the earth. There's going to be a glorious church. Hallelujah. The church is going to shine one more time. In Deuteronomy 1.10, the Lord your God hath multiplied you, and behold, you are this day as the stars of heaven for multitude. The Lord your God of your Father make you a thousand times so many more as you are, and bless you as he has promised you. Isaiah 10.22, for though thy people Israel be as the sand of the sea, that's natural Israel. Spiritual Israel is the stars of heaven. Natural Israel is the sand of the sea. Yet a remnant of them shall return. The consumption decrease shall overflow with righteousness. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Would you call now as we're, we're, we're praying through. We've been praying for the, the precious people of Israel. We've been praying for this nation. We've been praying for God to expose the enemy. We've been praying for God to, to, to bring safety and mercy as he fought for them 50 years ago, 2,000 years ago, 4,000 years ago. God Stand up and fight for Israel again. Fight for your people. Hallelujah. But just as natural Israel is under attack, nobody's talking about it, but spiritual Israel is facing this same attack. It's that same devourer. It's that same enemy. It's that same spirit. And it's that same devil. Hallelujah. He come to kill, steal, and destroy. He come to tear down. But Jesus come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. 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 There's a Palestine Islamic Islamic movement that's founded in 1987 with the aim of establishing a state incorporated present day Israel. They want to take it over. They want the West Bank. They want to destroy God's seed. Number one, I want to talk to you about, I want to show you how these parallel natural Israel and spiritual Israel as Hamas as they're, they're attacking right now. As this spirit of Hamas is attacking Israel, this same spirit's attacking the church and people don't realize it. They're not recognize it. The Hamas, the, the, the military, the militant group, they attack Israel on Saturday, October the 7th. They prompted the Prime Minister Benjamin to declare, we are at war. Hallelujah. Israel said at least 1,400 people there, most of them civilians, have been killed just at the beginning of this. Palestine territory, it's controlled for years. They entered Israel on foot, on motorcycle, in, in, in a white pickup trucks, and on paraglides. Bulldozers arrived and made a bigger hole in the wall, and people were just coming, going back and forth. They established this determined they established seven entry points of towns but it's estimated they were up to 25 entry points i want to stop and ask you in one of the the number two greatest nation in the, in the security in the world i think america has some of the greatest just security from our cia to our fbi to our homeland security we're we're, we're just we're just above them all god has been kind to the united states of america but america uh, but israel is right up there close to america how could these these 25 or these seven entry points got under their radar how could it got by for some reason for some reason god pulled up the curtain and let this little nation be touched and I've not prayed through about this yet, but I know we're in the end time and everything that can be shaken will be shaken. Just like 911. How could all these planes, how could all these terrorists got by our, our super security? How could it all happen in one day? For some reason on 911, God pulled the curtain up a little bit and said, United States of America, I want to remind you, I am your provider, I am your protector, I am your supplier, I am your way maker. Hallelujah. So when this happens, Happened. When this happened, Benjamin, the, the prime minister, said, we are going from a managing Hamas. We're going to destroy it. And I've come to speak to you, preacher, bishop, apostle, little prophetess, pastor, woman of God, man of God, teenager. I've come to speak to you for years. You slipped around and you've hid sin and you've played with sin and you said, I'll manage it. But what, what you try to manage will turn around and destroy you. You can't manage Hamas. you got to walk in and wipe them out and destroy it. you got to destroy the devil. David not only knocked down Goliath, he went back and cut his head off. Some of you took addiction to the altar. You took adultery to the altar. You took gambling to the altar. You took your temper to the altar. You took your nasty mouth to the altar. You, you, took, you took your lies and your cheating and your bitterness and hate to the altar. And you laid it there and you wept and you prayed, but you never cut its head off. And a year later, five years later, six months later, that thing popped back up. But God's telling somebody, we're in the the 
end time. You don't manage Hamas. You wipe them out. You get to the root of it. Hallelujah. And somebody needs to build your altar back and say, Satan, I'm not going to control you. I'm going to put you out. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You need peace in your home. Put the devil out. You need victory in your home. Put the devil out. You don't have to turn your babies over to drug addiction. You don't have to turn your babies over to homosexuality. You don't have to turn your babies over to the destroyer and the devourer of the souls of men. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Call right now. Let us pray with you. Take your home back. Take your prayer life back. Take your victory back. Take your health back. Take your finances back. Take your joy back. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Hallelujah. You, you got to move from managing Hamas. You got to destroy him. You got to say, lust, you have no place. Anger, you have no place. Bitterness, you have no place. Jesus said this. He said, the wicked one has come and he's found nothing in me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can you say that? Can you say the devil's come with his magnifying glass? There's no hate in me. There's no bitterness in me. There's no anger in me. There's no forgiveness in me. There was no pride in me. There was no desire to sin inside of me. I have not only knocked the life down, I have cut his head off. Hallelujah. You can't control sin. It has to be destroyed. 1 Peter 5, 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Drug addiction, drinking, still in line, hate, bitterness, you got to go. 1 John 3, 8. He that committeth sin is of the devil, for the devil sinneth from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifest that he might destroy the works of the devil. There's an anointing that'll break every chain. It'll break that family curse. Daddy was a gambler. You were a gambler. Daddy was a liar. You were a liar. Daddy was an addict. You're an addict and you're passing it on. That, that curse needs to break right now. You ought to tell the devil, I will not pass on bitterness. I will not pass on hatefulness. I will not pass on this loose living. I'm going to return to God. I am going to not just manage the devil. I'm going to destroy the enemy in my life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And he called on to him, his 12 disciples, and he began to send them forth by two and two, and he gave them power over unclean spirit. You've got the power of God. You've got power to stand up to the devil. You've got the power. Call now. There's help for you. If you have lost loved ones, hallelujah, hallelujah, there's, there's victory for their salvation. If you've lost someone you love, if there's been a death, I would like to mail you our free book on dealing with grief. We've, we've put them in funeral homes. We've given out thousands of these. And it's 19 people's story of after burying somebody, after their heart breaking and their world shaking, they got back up. Give a call right now. And while you're on the phone, let us pray with you. Let us believe with you for your miracle, for your turnaround. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Number two, number two, 210 people were taken hostage. They were hid in caves or pits. The enemy is taking your friends and your family and some of your church members, people you work with and he's kidnapped them and he's got them in a pit. They think they're okay but they're in a pit. When you're in a pit you're living below earth's level. Will you let them die in the pit and be lost forever? Will you let them go to hell when you're weeping and your prayers can make a difference? Or will you stand up today, pick up your weapon, the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but they are mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Will you build your altar back? Say devil you're not taking my family to hell. I know my boy don't want to go to church no more. And I know my little girl is lost, but devil, you're a liar. How Jesus came to seek and to save that which was lost. And I feel mercy reaching for your loved ones. I feel restoration. God, there's a God that can let those divorce papers be tore up. There's a God that can turn this bankruptcy around. There's a God that can restore what the canker worm and the locust and the caterpillars come to devour. There's a God that cares about you. In Genesis 37 and 20, they went to Joseph. They come now there forth and let us slay him and cast him into some pit. And we will say some evil beast has devoured him and we shall see what will become of his dreams. The enemy's got some of your family in a pit in Genesis 37, 24. And they took him and cast him in the pit and the pit was empty. There was no water in it. You say, Brother Wynn, why is my lost husband so hateful? Because he's in a pit with no water. Why are my children so mean to me? Because they're lost. They're miserable. They're in a pit with no water. They're trying and their music and their drugs and their drink and their movies are running around. Nothing is satisfying them. Ain't nothing going to change till they drink of that living water.
water till they find the peace of God that passes all understanding. Just as real as they have 210 captives in caves and, and in tunnels and in pits. Your loved ones, your family, and your friends. Don't wait till it's too late to pull them out of the pit. In Genesis 37, 29. And Reuben returned unto the pit. And behold, Joseph was not in the pit. Don't wake up and read their name in the bitch world column. Don't wake up and their little hearts quit beating. And we should pray and we should invite them to church. And we should have been kind to them. And we should have reached for them one more time. What? their little hearts beating. Pull them out of the pit. Jesus pulled us out of the pit. He pulled us out of the fire. Hating even the garment spotted by the flesh. Hallelujah. 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 We have these prayer cloths. We are mailing out thousands. We're just mailing them out all over the world and my, my, my friend went and bought us our own cutter. We'll be cutting and making our own prayer cloths now. How God has been kind and moving for us. And we're, we're, we're working on some th things right now, some visions to make just a few hundred, a thousand available to pastors. If you're interested in several hundred prayer cloths or something, contact us. We'll find an offering or something. We're, we'll just, just pay the, the material or, or the labor, whatever. But I want to be a blessing to you. But if you want just one prayer cloth, it's a free gift to you. I'll, we, we'll pay the postage. All you need to do is call and we're hearing a miracle after miracle healing and deliverance and salvation our, our, one one of our ministers here jerry and joanne their, 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 their grandson had a horrible wreck and one of these prayer cloths was laying on the seat totaled the car and this young man walked away unharmed we believe in the keeping glorious power of god one one of our workers here went into surgery and put this prayer cloth in their in their sock we believe hankers and aprons were taken off the body of paul and special miracles was wrought in fact i feel that anointing now as you call and ask for one of these prayer cloths let us pray with you I have a team of, 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 of men and women who seek God who pray who stand in the gap and make up the hedge who weep between the porch and the altar and they're ready to pray with you right now they're ready to move heaven and earth for your need many are the afflictions of the righteous but the Lord delivereth out of them all number three uh, Israel is being attacked naturally. The church is being attacked spiritually. The natural seed, the spiritual seed. Israel is the sand of the sea. The, the church in America, the church around the world, spiritual Israel is the stars of the sky. The, over in Israel, they're sending drones to kill innocent people. They never just kill wicked, but innocent families. They, they was 260 killed in a concert. Our enemy don't destroy just wicked people. He hates all flesh. Hamas not just destroyed soldiers. They're killing babies. They're killing families they're killing teenagers above all taking the shield of faith wherein you may be able to quench all the fiery darts of the weak in Ephesians 6 16 number four thing that parallels a type and a shadow with spirit, natural Israel and spiritual Israel they're sending rockets for we wrestle not against flesh and blood Ephesians 6 and 12 but against principalities and powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world against spiritual weakness in high places hallelujah how do we stop this how does it work Israel has the arm drone the defense system the, the mobile air defense system is made up of 10 batteries that carry each three to four maneuverable missile launchers and they'll have 10 or 20 missile launchers and they move them around israel they got them to protect each town and each city and they have a radar that's watching heaven and they see when those missiles come in from hamas hallelujah who you know who that is that's the intercessor prayer warriors in natural israel they have the israel armed drone in the church in america we have little old moms and daddies and teenagers that's praying and weeping between the porch and the altar and when the enemy sends a missile against your teenager when he sends a spirit against your home against your daughter when he sends a, tries to send a wreck when he tries to send something to devour you hallelujah to devour you and to destroy you hallelujah that, that intercessor sees that missile in the air and it, it prays hallelujah it lifts up its voice to the throne of God and God sends an angel or he points his hand he sends his word and he stops that missile so hallelujah, hallelujah. That's the reason homes are in trouble right now. Our intercessors are consumed with their own storms and their own battles. And they're, they're not standing in the gap and making up their heads. They don't got their, they're not tuned in with the heavens. How long has it been since the Lord woke you up at 2 o'clock and said, pray for somebody. Presence of the Lord came in my bedroom last night. Hallelujah. It's not enough when God lays somebody on your heart to think about them or worry about them. You've you got to send up that prayer to heaven and that prayer to heaven will send and it'll, it'll counterattack what the enemy's trying to do. Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Number five, 
There's 210 prisoners. If we assume a conservative length of a cubit to be 17.5 inches, New Jerusalem walls in Revelation 17 and 17. And he measured the walls are of 140 cubits according to the measure of a man and then that, that of an angel. And if we do that, it, it's 17 inches. It, it would be, it measure out to 210 feet, 25 2,520 inches, which measures 210 feet. They, they attack in the wall. There's 210 prisoners in captive. That, that 210 represents the measurements of the walls of Jerusalem. Satan is attacking the wall. He's trying to tie the wall down to your family. He's trying to get in your home. They used to be arguing on the street. They used to be pressuring the job. Now you've brought it home. Satan's tore the walls down. In Nehemiah, Nehemiah 1 and 3, and they said unto me, the remnant that are left of the captive that are in the providence are in great afflictions and reproach. The walls of Jerusalem also is broken down and the gates thereof are burned with fire. Hallelujah. Satan's trying to tear the gates down. The storm on the outside won't sink the ship. It's when you allow the storm to get on the inside. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you right now. God, don't my higher. Lord, don't let this storm get on the inside. God, let somebody pray and you raise up a standard. Raise up a standard. You raise up a standard. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I will to tell you number six this is not just a war over religion this is not a war over a piece of Gaza Strip this is not a war over a, a political ruling this is a terrorist attack he, he there's no war when you kill 40 babies and you behead them there's no war when you go into somebody's home and you shoot the babies in bed and in the cribs it's no war when you drag people naked through the streets murdered and slain it's not war when you're ravaging and raping the little women. It's not war. It's a terrorist attack. I'm so proud of McMinn County, Athens, uh, Tennessee, our city council, in our public library, LBGT, they went in our public library and they set up a display, one of the most filthy, vile books where our four-year-olds, and I have my, my two four-year-olds that go to that library, was set where your babies could see. Two men know they can't have a baby and two women know they can't have a baby and they come in after mine and yours. But, but Athens City Council stood up and when they stood up, the county stood up and when the county stood up, the ministries in the county stood up and when the ministry stood up God stood up and this display is no longer public in Athens Tennessee and I know this will go public but I'm thanking God for Athens Tennessee City Council that stood up hallelujah hallelujah you need to stand up in your town and say homosexual you can't have my babies just as they come after those little children over there they're coming after your children they're trying to slip homosexuality into our cartoons right now they got little books out trying to tell your babies hallelujah that homosexuality is okay. We have books right now. We have books right now. These are for an offering of $10. Any one of these books for an offering of $25, you could have all three of these books. You ought, if you're a grandma or mom, you ought to call. This is, this is God. You're from A to Z. This is the first family. This is the one that stands up and says, a family is not two women and a baby or two men and a baby. It's one man and one woman married together. You need to read these from, from, from six months on. Your babies can play with these books. They, they're printed... Uh, they were designed here in our office, written by the people here, and these will be a blessing to you. My son and Jesse did this when it's Jesus at church. Faith did all the artwork in these books, and for an offering, of, you can have them $10 a piece. We'll pay postage or $25. You can have all three, and I would like to make these available to you. We've, we've got we got to do everything in the best for our children. That's better than a Batman toy. It's better better than than a, than a Bluey toy. It, it will tell your children that, that Jesus, it'll plant Jesus in your their heart at an early age. Satan is coming. I, I, I read about some of our cartoons now. They're putting horrible words and horrible acts inside our little cartoons. They're not just trying to get our 18-year-old on drugs anymore. They're not just trying to get our 16-year-olds to sleep together anymore. They're going after our 4-year-olds and our 5-year-olds. But so, hallelujah, in Washington, D.C., in 9-11, our soldiers walked the mat and they said, we will not back down. We're going to guard this unknown soldier through it in the tomb. Hallelujah. You've got a greater trend 
treasure in that in your home and it's your babies and it's your family. And somebody needs to stand up and say, we are at war right now. I declare war on the spirits of hell. I declare war, I declare war on every enemy that's come against my home and my marriage and my family. Hallelujah. Devil, you can't have my family. You can't have my children. Hallelujah. 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 Greater is he that is in you than he that's in the world. Time's got away. I want to pray for the lost right now. Father, hallelujah, you said you were faithful and you were just. If we would confess our sins and we would ask you to forgive us our sins, you would come into our heart and you'd be the Lord of our life. Forgive us for hurting you and for hurting others. Lord, be the Lord of our life. God, lead them on to find a good church, to be filled with the Holy Ghost, to find, get them a Bible. Start reading, studying the Word of God. Hallelujah. Friend, we have a free Bible course. If, if you will call or write us, we'll, we'll get you started reading the Bible. If you'll call now, we will pray with you. There's a miracle in the making for you. God wants to move for you. God wants to raise a standard up for you. The Holy Ghost wants to fight for you. Yes, Israel's at war, but the church is at war. We're being attacked. Hallelujah. Because we have no Speaker of the House, the money stopped right now. Pray for the government that we'll get a Speaker of the House so that we can release money to go to Israel. God is calling you to pray for Israel. God's calling you to stand in the gap, but God's calling you to pray for your family. God's calling you to pray for your marriage. God's calling you to pray for your home. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Israel, you better stand up right now. If this money don't get released, you better take care of yourself, friend. You better realize how you may not be nobody else praying for your home. You better pray. You better pray. Build your altar back. Weep before the Lord again. Stand in the gap. Make up the hedge. Would you call now and let us pray with you? I feel miracles. I feel glory. I feel deliverance. I feel a turnaround. God started a good work in you and he wants to finish it. Hallelujah. I'm going to fight for you. I'm going to fight for Oasis Ministry, Anthony Wynn Ministries. I'm fighting for Miracle Deliverance Tabernacle. I'm fighting for Athens, Tennessee, and McMinn County. If you're a rural ministry and you have a burden or desire to have a TV ministry and it's never worked out, we have an opportunity to help you. If you would contact us here and say, let us know about the rural TV ministry. We're part. So if you're interested in TV ministry, if you want to expand your ministry and take it to another level, contact us here. If God be for you, who can be against you? But remember, it's not just Israel being attacked. Your home's been attacked. Your ministry's been attacked. Stand up and fight. Join hands with me. Pray for us. We're, there's attacks all over the world. I need 300 people who'll pray daily for me. I need people who'll stand in the gap, make up the heads for me. This is Brother Anthony Wynn. I know God's speaking to some of you to partner with me here at Oasis Ministries. Some of you, it wouldn't be a burden. You could send a large donation monthly to help me add another station, win another soul, touch another life. We smell out so much free material. And some of you could send $5, 10 15 $20 a month. And it would sure make a difference. It'd help me to mail another Bible course to a prison, to reach another soul, to mail out another free prayer cloth. Would you pray about holding my hands up and partnering with me? Thank you. Thank you. And God bless you. Thank you for joining us at Anthony Wynn Ministries. This is our 20th year of touching hearts and changing lives through TV ministry. And this is made possible by our partners. Because of your kindness, we have reached over 150 million homes worldwide. And we're currently in the process of constructing a new office space and studio building. It is our goal to double in size this year and add new stations to our outreach. Currently, we send out thousands of free resources monthly and your donations and partnerships make this possible. Partner with us today and become part of our ministry as we reach an orphanage in Haiti, a recovery center, and all our local missions. When you partner with us, you can receive a free DVD or CD, a monthly newsletter, and an Oasis magazine. Just call 1-877-226-4088 or visit our website at anthonywin.org. Thank you. God bless you.